So then, Barrow's transfer window has already started with an announcement yesterday. Who could this announcement of the signing be? So, what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me, Birds of Blue. And welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video then is transfer news at Barrow have announced their first signing of the transfer window. Who, who is it, you may ask? It is David Worrell, the ex-Port Vale man. So, in this video then, I'll be giving you my thoughts on David Worrell. Also, giving you thoughts from a, a few sets of fans. Opinions even from, well, from Port Vale fans and from fans of League 2 and League 1 that have watched david warrell but before we do get any further into this video then please don't forget to smash like subscribe to the channel turn that notification bell so you know if i have some time i post a new video and let's get in to reading the article barrel put out of announcing david warrell so then the article come out of the announcement yesterday of david warrell Follows, we are delighted to announce David Warrell as Pete Wilde's first summer signing. The midfielder, 32, joins on a free transfer after the expiring of his contract at Le Skybet League 1 side Port Vale, subject to EFL approval. Warrell, who has nearly 500 EFL appearances to his name, has signed a two-year deal at the Soul Eagle Stadium. David courts Port Vale, what Millwall, Southend and Berry are some of his former club, having come through Berry's youth system and just one appearance from Berry, Warrell was snapped up by Premier League side West Bromwich Albion in 2004 where he spent three years. A creative attacking midfielder, David is, excite is an exciting addition to Pete Wilde's side and the manager is, del is delighted to welcome him to the club. The signing of David is a real statement of intent from us. He comes with a wealth of experience and fantastic record of assists. We wanted to add good experience to the group and bring in players who know what to take, knows what it's, it's to take to get to the next level. I hope fans and potential targets look at this signing and reckon, and recognise that this is a top signing for us. Warrell was ever present for Port Vale last season, making 39 appearances and shipping in with one goal and six, six assists, and he was delighted to get the deal done. I can't wait to get started. I am really looking forward to meeting the lads and seeing what we can achieve as a club, as a football club. When I spoke to the manager and heard his plans, it's really motivated me, and it's a journey I want to be a part of. Welcome to Barrow, David. So that's how the article was written from Barrow. As you can see there, he's a very, very experienced player at this level. He's had 500, appear well, 500 appearances, well, EFL appearances. His name he's played at big, he's played at quite a big number of, quite a big number of big clubs like Port Vale, Millwall, Berry when he used to be big, South End, West Bromwich Albion, so he's played a big, he's played at some big club, but now let's move on to giving my thoughts on this signing and then also reading the fans' thoughts from a few Port Vale fans and a few fans from other clubs around League One and League Two. So then, let's move on to speaking on speaking from Port Vale's point of Port Vale's fan point of view on what their thoughts are on David Worrell. Starting off with this one, then he put uh, he said, "Brilliant, the old school right winger loves getting to the byline and delivering the ball into the box, but equally adapt on point on the left as well." And also, he said, "He's a top player. Him and God." Him, Gordon and Whitfield should work like a dream. Well, hopefully they do. Gordon still needs to sign that contract yet. Still not heard anything about that. So, if Gordon does stay, hopefully, he said, hopefully they do work like a dream. The next one then, 
Moving on to the next Ville fan, that did give me his thoughts on what the, a bit about David Worrell. Cracking player will run his socks off until the very last second, being playing as a wing-back for us in the last two seasons, but started out as a winger. If you've got a big lad up, big lad up front, he will find his head all day long. Takes on his man and is just a very good, well-rounded winger. Will be very good for League Two. I agree with that. I've seen a bit of, I've seen a few clips of David Worrell that I've seen on Twitter, and he does look like he likes to cross in the box, cross in the box, and find a tall man on the uh, on the end of on the end of his crosses. So, and though we don't, well, we sort of do have a tall striker in the likes of Richie Bennett, Ged Garner. So hopefully. They do, they do work out. But a bit more about my thoughts on, a bit more on David Worrell from uh, Dale fans. He was very close to the owner in Carroll. Going off his interview, he did for them before after before he uh, has left the club. He was he came out. Very, he was very close with the uh, owners, the club, the fans, and that's what Pete Wild wants. He wants to put. He wants a player that is a good character to have in the uh, dressing room, and I think David Worrell can bring that to us. And go, and there, uh, the Passaville fan that that I've read says he's a leader. So hopefully, someone that can bring a bit of leadership experience in the dressing room. So that is where I am going to round up this video, speaking on David. Worrell. Overall, I feel like this is a brilliant signing for us. Hopefully, there's more like this to come into the club, and hopefully, we can progress and have a good season next year. But if you have enjoyed my thoughts on David Worrell, please don't forget to smash like, subscribe to the channel, turn that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And I'll see you for another transfer video very, very soon.